Surgeons are finding ways to help kids with a rare condition that affects families across the world. Kaplan's Denise Diaz explains the medical effort towards helping kids with cleft lip. Understanding the up-to-date factors that make cleft lip and cleft palate appear and what can be done to reduce the risk and appearance is what we need to know to raise awareness in our communities. These birth defects occur when a baby's lip or mouth doesn't fully form during early pregnancy. According to the Center of Disease Control, this is a common condition that affects dozens of families every year. All of this is happening early on in pregnancy during the first trimester. Factors such as smoking or drinking alcohol during pregnancy, pre-existing diabetes, medication taking during early pregnancy, obesity, and specific infections can increase the chance to get it. One thing that we know for certain is that a family history of cleft is certainly a risk for, um, for subsequent generations. Having cleft and cleft lip and palate can often run in a family. To reduce risk, Marsh of Thyme says folic acid should be taken before and during pregnancy. Before pregnancy, get to a healthy wave and make sure vaccinations are up to date during pregnancy. Don't smoke or drink alcohol, make sure medications are safe, and get prenatal care early and often. Early findings of this on uh, 3D ultrasonography and some of the uh, newer modalities that we have can at least lend parents um, an ability to take some time to, to get their expectations kind of uh, uh, set before the child is born. While this cleft can be surgically repaired, support is essential to address associated challenges. Reporting for Kaplan News, Denise Diaz.